take you back out to that breaking news in Thornton. A body has been found in that home that was leveled by an explosion, and the cause of that blast still under investigation. 7 News Tyler Lopez is at the scene where fire officials just announced the discovery of that body, Tyler. And Kelly, this will change the investigation from, of course, a dangerous explosion to a death investigation. It took them about two hours once they were able to get closer and the sun came up to find that body. They've been able to get eyes on that situation to confirm that it is, in fact, a body. They believe it to be an adult male. They found that body around 10 o'clock this morning. So this investigation could very well go even slower than they believed initially. You can see the tremendous damage on the homes to either side. They've been condemned already. And you can see a large number of vehicles here. A lot of foot traffic. People want to see this for themselves to get a better understanding of what happened. But it's when you get closer that the devastation of this explosion really strikes you. This blue Honda is across the street. It is covered in wood and insulation. Much of Monroe Drive is littered with debris. Cell phone video captures large flames from the fire that followed yesterday's blast. Putting it out took 20 minutes. The rest of this operation will take much, much longer. Digging out the fire, uh, you know, everything is into the basement, so it's a. Uh, a safety concern. We have to shore it up and crib it to keep uh, uh, the investigators safe. Chief John Staley of Thornton Fire the says the leading theory now is a natural gas explosion that left the homes on both sides condemned. The missing man may be underneath all of this. A cadaver dog hitting on a human scent twice late last night, but it's an area that just isn't safe this morning. Plywood and two by fours and sheetrock on roofs, uh, things in trees. Um, the city's going to go around today and try and pull that out so at least our citizens don't be, you know, don't start climbing trees to get it down. But yeah, the devastation is pretty extensive for about a two block area. In fact, city crews are cleaning up Cottonwood okay, Park, 600 yards to the west. At first glance, it almost looks like cotton covering rooftops. Now again, just moments ago, the chief confirming they did find a body inside the rubble in the basement. That's the same area where the cadaver dog from the Fort Collins area found a human scent last night. So they do believe at this point that it's the man they've been looking for, an adult man who is living in this home. That's the presumption going forward, but it's going to take a while to actually get to that body to get a little closer to confirm identification. In fact, the cause of this fire has not been determined because of that. They won't move this body until they can figure out what led this house to explode. The leading theory at this point is some sort of a natural gas explosion, but there may be more to it. So an investigation that we knew was going to stretch into today, possibly into Saturday, may go even slower now that we have in fact found the body of a man inside that rubble behind me. Live in Thornton, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.